The History of Gibbeting uh, by Samantha Priestley, Britain's Most Brutal pu Punishment. Um, so, um, I think the one example I can think of after I'm, I'm like, oh, so that's what it's called. Um, it's like if you watched um, Pirates of the Caribbean, like in the first one, when he's coming, um, when you first see Jack Sparrow, and like you see the dead pirate in like that cage, or like you see it randomly throughout like the um, series. Um, I at least I think like the first and second one I think you see it. Um, but that's what it um that's what it basically is. Um so <laughs> you get basically um the intro introduction of like the murder act and like the lead up to um gibbeting as a punishment. So like if you murdered somebody, you're gonna die and get basically shown off <laughs> in this cage which um the author has mentioned can prolong the grief period for the victim's families so and like some which would lead some not wanting that to be like um out there um as like a punishment or not as like visual um, so it does give a few, um, examples of people who were convicted and got this as their punishment. Um, oh, I'm back to saying um again. So you get, like, pirates, mail robbers... Um, it going to be in a form of entertainment and a lot of other, um, not a lot, but like a, a small variety of other information about it and then it going in from the beginning to its decline and eventual end. Uh, some primary um, info placed throughout the book, so it's more informational with a bit of primary sourcing. Uh, the bibliography, you get like some books and online resources, like some sites given. With the images, you get some actual places, like actual photographs of like the places and illustrations and some primary text and images from that time. Um, so for though it's really for those who do have an interest in mainly Britain's legal punishment system. So, so I kind of like the beginning of this. The story of gibbeting in Britain has an ending, but no beginning. Though we know when this terrible punishment was outlaw, we don't know when or why it began. Gibbeting describes the ghoulish practice of hanging the criminal in a body-shaped cage or irons and leaving them suspended there for all to see. Many reasons were given for gibbeting people. It was said to keep their body hanging between earth and heaven so the deceased couldn't pass, uh, pass over. So you, there's that bit of religious kind of thing. So, career criminals, uh, and it does mention like some places like Rolf's Lane, Curry's Point, um, Kenneth's Mount, a uh, small hill in Aberdeenshire where Kenneth Leo robbed uh, the, mall, the male of um, 270 pounds and was hung in chains on that site following his execution. Is called Kenneth's Mount. His remains still in their gibbet irons were also discovered years later at the site. Though most of the irons and remains were reburied, parts of the head were carried off as trophies, grim as souvenirs. So it's just certain places you could go and see, oh, um, 
this person's body basically was hung here. So if like that kind of history um, is interesting or in some way or um, doing a, like a project on punishments and um, the legal system, this is a good book to start off at or like has um, have as a reference for gibbeting if that's your topic. So, yeah, the history of gibbeting. Happy readings.